Hallo zusammen, I'm your Vlog Dave. Today I want to talk about three old German names for boys. Names that were highly popular back in the day, but that somehow vanished in time, almost. So, let's begin. What I think is really interesting about many names is that they basically tell a story and they basically tell of how times were back in the day, which things people dealt with or had to deal with and how a society was actually structured. In other words, there is more to many names than meets the eye. Another really interesting thing about names is that some stay modern and stay trendy, so to speak, for many decades, whereas others, yeah, simply vanish in time and they are pretty much outdated or considered outdated nowadays. Let's begin with the first one. Günther. So Günther is a perfect example for a name, for a boy's name, that is considered outdated nowadays. It's not really used for boys anymore. It's highly unlikely. Similar to the other first names I'm gonna mention in this video, Günther once was a highly popular and, well, commonly used name for boys. Back in the day, that is, in my grandparents' generation, when they were kids. I'm talking about the 1920s, the 1930s, the 1940s and to some extent even the 1950s in Germany. But the name itself is even older than that. Many forms of it have been used in medieval times already, in medieval days. Im Mittelalter. Long time ago. So, the name Günther was most popular for German boys during the 1930s. So, the numbers next to the ordinate, meaning the vertical axis, represent the popularity of a name. So, anything that's close to the number 1 is pretty much considered highly popular. And everything that's decreasing from there is considered less popular. The numbers under the horizontal x-axis show the timeline, meaning the respective years. So looking at this chart for the boy named Günther, it clearly shows that the popularity of this name slowly began to decrease in the 1950s. So my mother's father, my grandpa, was born in 1936 and he is called Günther and as we can see, that was a highly popular name back then. There are different forms of this name too. Günther with an H is more common than Günther without an H. Günther is a derived form of the name Gunther, with an H or without an H, which itself is derived from the old High German terms Gund, meaning der Kampf, the fight, and Heri, das Heer, meaning the army. Gund Heri, the fight army. So, even though you might not find Günther being the first name of a boy nowadays, you might still find it being the middle name, the second first name, so to speak. For instance, in Max Günther Schmidt. I personally think that this is a pretty cool opportunity to commemorate your ancestors, for instance, your grandfather. Number two, Dieter. So Dieter is a pretty similar case. Back in the day, especially in the 1930s and in the 1940s in Germany, Dieter was a highly popular name for boys. For instance, my father's father, my grandfather, my grandpa, was born in 1938 and he was called Dieter. As we can see here, the popularity of the name Dieter decreased in the mid-1960s. It became less popular. In the days of Old High German, which was the modern German language, between 750 and 1050 AD, this name was spelled with an additional H. And this way of spelling it also relates to its etymology, its origin. Because in Old High German, Diot means Volk, das Volk, the people, the folk or the nation. And again we have the term Heri. So Dita means something like people army or people's army. Similar to Günther, the first name Dieter also refers to some kind of a military action, a military context. 
And this is what I meant at the start of this video, because names can tell historic stories and they can remind us and remember us of how social situations and contexts were like in times long gone by. And name number three, Hans. So yeah, it doesn't come as a huge surprise when I say that Hans is pretty much equally outdated or considered outdated nowadays. So what's interesting about this one is a shift in the way it's been used as a first name. From the mid 1930s onwards, there was a tendency towards rather using it as the first part in a double barreled name instead of a single first name. Der Doppelname Singular, die Doppelnamen Plural. A compound name or a double barreled name. For instance, Hans Dieter or Hans Jürgen. Hans is derived from the name Johannes, which means God is gracious or merciful in Hebrew, which also tells something about religious beliefs many Germans have had in many centuries. So did you know those names? Have you heard of them before? And do you know other German names that you would like to know more about? Well, tell me in the comments. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you want to support me and this channel, leave a like, share this video with other people and don't hesitate to subscribe. You can also support me on the crowdfunding page Patreon. That really helps a lot and makes this channel possible. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.